The Elder is a magical tree. It's thought that you can see fairies under an elder bush on Midsummer's Eve. It also protects your home from evil spirits if planted outside your back door. Nowadays, many people think of it as a weed and remove it from their garden, but I love elder. The flowers make a delicious cordial, the berries make a great natural paint, and the wood from this tree contains a soft, pithy core which is easily removed to create hollow pipes. Fairy folk make magical instruments from them, and I'm told that the Elder Wand from Harry Potter is the most powerful wand that ever existed. Today we're going to make a magical necklace using elder beads. So you will need um, a stem of elder about a centimetre to two centimetres in diameter, um, a pair of loppers or secateurs, a really strong pokey stick, thin. Um, I'm using a palm drill uh, but you could also use a skewer or a tent peg, some felt tip pens, some string and a pair of scissors. Cutting the beads is a two person job, one to hold the branch and the other to cut the beads. Keep your fingers away from the sharp blade and each bead should be about two to three centimetres in length. Sometimes the wood splits, just discard these beads. So this is a palm drill. Um, and I've got some personal protective equipment on my left hand because I'm going to be holding the bead with that. It's always really important when you're using a drill or a temp peg or a skewer that you don't drill into your hand because if you slip that's going to hurt. So I'm drilling onto something solid uh, that's not going to get dinted by the drill and I'm going to push down through the bead it's really soft so you don't have to work very hard to create the hole and then I'll do the other side just to remove some of the pith and there we have it. If you're peeling your beads they'll be a bit wet when you take the bark off so leave them to dry out for a little bit before you start decorating them. So I've finished decorating my beads and I've laid them out in the order that I want to string them. Then take your string and you'll need a little bit longer than your necklace length. Cut that. Um, you'll want a pokey stick that will make it easier to thread. And then you start at one end. Now for threading, I find it easy if you just push the string through with the pokey stick like that. Once you've got your first one on, you might want to tie a knot in that so that it doesn't just fall off the end. And then continue stringing each of your beads. So last one. Brilliant. I'm going to unknot this side. And tie them together. Pretty happy with that. <laughs>